Coming up next at the movies, Bill Murray has a serious side and we'll look at his recent attempt to play a serious character. I don't think I'm the guy you want to marry right now. This isn't the old Mr. Sunshine. Many comic actors, Bill Murray wants to do more than make people laugh. They're never satisfied, <laughs> these big stars. Jerry Lewis has wanted to be a serious actor for a long time, and he did a good job in The King of Comedy. Jackie Gleason was really superb in the drama The Hustler, and of course, Charlie Chaplin himself, the master, got serious toward the end of his career, too. And Bill Murray is trying to follow in their footsteps, and he doesn't want to play silly roles. So, in 1980, he made his first stab at a somewhat serious role, playing countercultural journalist Hunter S. Thompson in the political comedy Where the Buffalo Roam. Murray was okay, but the tone of the movie was wildly uneven, and we were never sure what kind of story this was supposed to be, comedy or political. It didn't have the confidence to be totally serious. Then Bill Murray got a little bit more serious. With Tootsie, he wasn't playing goofy Bill Murray. He was just doing a straight standard role mm -hmm. with some good lines. That worked very, very well. He took the role without credit, another clever move but he got a lot of credit because everyone noticed it was Bill Murray. Much more recently, using the cloud of his participation in Ghostbusters as sort of a club, Bill Murray was able to do his first fully realized dramatic role in The Razor's Edge, playing a disillusioned young man trying to find out nothing less than the meaning of life. I enjoyed the film more as a study of what it means to be a good friend, and Bill Murray's character turns out to be a very dear friend of an unhappy woman in this film, played by Teresa Russell. There are tinges of the comic Bill Murray in this scene, but that works, too, because who says everybody in a serious movie has to be serious all the time? There. I have this printed up for you. Your poems. Oh, this is great. Now I'll have something to read to the guys in the trenches at night. You used to like them. Well, they're good. I always liked the poet. I'm gonna miss you. You know, when we were kids, I was always terrified you were the guy I was gonna have to marry. But you just couldn't control yourself, could you? <laughs> no. Oh, Bob. Oh, Bob. Bob, don't. Oh, Bob, don't. Stop. Whatever you do, Bob, don't. Oh, Bob. Well, he goes a little overboard there at the end. I don't think he has to. He's a better actor than that. The Razor's Edge is by no means a great film, but there is something quite wonderful about it, and you could see it in that scene where he gets, that one shot where he gets choked up. And what you can see there is the innate sweetness of Bill Murray that comes across at almost every moment in this story. He can act all right, but frankly, he's best when he just seems to be himself, his relaxed self, trying to do the right thing or the funny thing. He's a good person, and we see that, and that carries him a long way in the movies, I think. I agree with that feeling about Murray when he's relaxed, but that's why I liked him ever so much more in Tootsie, where he was Dustin Hoffman's roommate, mm -hmm. and he was giving him little advice. And you remember the great scene where he says, don't play too hard to get? Right. <laughs> right. Uh, I liked him better there than I did in Razor's Edge, where he seems to be playing serious with a capital S. In other words, this is a serious movie. Right. I have to be serious about it. And I thought, as a result, he was too laid back in this movie. You could see it almost, I thought, in this scene. He's standing back like this. He doesn't put himself into the scene. He doesn't put his personality into the scene. I think he's better off probably playing contemporary roles, people his own age, his own generation, and in doing that, as he did in Tootsie, there's nobody better. Well, okay, we can keep arguing, I guess, about the razor's edge. Maybe that's not to, to the point here. Um, I thought that his uh, one mistake is that he didn't play it serious enough, maybe, yeah. that, that uh, he tried to... You go know, for a little comic Go for comedy because, you know, it would be more marketable and he's going to make the transition a little smoother. Mm -hmm. At any rate. I think you're right about one thing, though, and that is his sweetness. He mm -hmm. is such a nice person, innately almost, on screen, that even when he's mean, it doesn't really matter because we know he doesn't really mean it. You know, we were asking earlier if he is right in trying to have a serious career, and of yeah. course, that's what he wants to do, be serious as well as funny, that's yeah. okay, but there are a lot of serious actors, know, and they are all also very serious, and it is so hard to be funny, and it's even harder to be funny when you're not doing it with cheap laughs and cheap shots, but right. doing it with wit and with intelligence and with warmth, as Murray can do. It's so hard to do, he does it so well. Yeah, even though I like The Razor's Edge, given my druthers, I'm with you. I'd rather mm -hmm. see him keep on doing comedies. 
not necessarily summer camp teenage comedies, mm -hmm. more comedies of a guy in his late 30s, I think that's what he is right now, mm -hmm. and why not grow old with Bill Murray and have him grow and be funny, more like a career that, uh, well, Woody Allen has sometimes. Okay, well that's it for this.